My beloved brothers and sisters, we're living in a remarkable age when we constantly see the hand of the Lord in the lives of his children. Our Heavenly Father and his Son, Jesus Christ, know us, love us, and are watching over us. Of that, we can be certain. At the same time, as you are well aware, we as a global church are facing a unique challenge. COVID-19 and its resulting illness has affected thousands of lives and interrupted many regular routines. We pray for those who are suffering and for those who have lost loved ones. After prayerful consideration and with our deep desire to be part of the solution to this challenge, we have recently made many temporary adjustments to the way we worship and serve the Lord. We are most grateful for your faith, your prayers, your cooperation, and understanding. These unique challenges will pass in due time. I remain optimistic for the future. I know the great and marvelous blessings that God has in store for those who love Him and serve Him. I see evidence of His hand in this holy work in so many ways. So, during these uncertain times, be comforted by this promise from the Savior. He said, quote, I, the Lord, am bound when ye do what I say. Close quote. I promise you that joy is always within the reach of everyone who will hear him and obey his laws. Brothers and sisters, please take good care of yourselves and your loved ones and look for opportunities to help those around you, near and far. We have the great privilege of ministering to our neighbors wherever they live. Temporary changes in our normal routine may allow additional time to experience how precious home-centered gospel study can be. Don't hesitate to use the new Book of Mormon videos and other technology to study the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are all looking forward to General Conference. Then we will focus on the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ in its fullness. That gospel provides certain hope and help to a troubled world. I love you, I pray for you, and I promise that you will receive comfort and peace as you continue to hear him.